Hi, this is Superboo3. Today we're going to carry on with part 6 of my darkness playthrough. Um, it looks like we're back in the mental asylum. It's weird how Johnny seems to know what's actually going on. None of this is real. Here you go, Jackie. Come on, Jackie, let's you and me head up. The church put on a beautiful service. Yeah, they did it right, didn't they, Vinny? You bet. Top shelf all the way. Classy. A little long, but you know us Catholics like to talk. You know, boss, we're, we're all thrilled that you, uh, you, know, you got your thing back, but, uh, you know, some of the boys are thinking maybe this hit has something to do with that, and, you know, well, no disrespect, but... Just spit it out, Vin. You know that ain't no one's gonna back you up more than me, Jackie. Just give the boys something to go on, okay? Well, not for nothing. You spent four days in the back room with that crazy prick Johnny when by rights you should have been dead. We just want to know what we're up against here, you know? Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, we are glad to see you back putting them in a horrible situation. Wouldn't have been the same seeing your Aunt Sarah off without the old Jackie Estacado. I know this is a tough pill to swallow, Jackie. But she's home now, right? Buried here with the rest of your family. It's a shame Jenny was... This guy kind of looks like Freddy Krueger. She was family to you. I'm sorry she's gone. She's always with me. Jackie, I know what a terrible burden you carry, but carrying that burden is what made you strong. What'll get you through this? I want you to know I think you... What the hell? That's one tough old lady, Jackie. How many times do I have to shoot her before she surrenders? Alright, this guy is gonna pay for what he did. I guess we should pick up something to hit him with. Whoa, brutal. I think his shields are going to come in handy. Where's that boss gone? Stuff always goes down at gang and mafia funerals. He should have been more prepared for this. So where's all my buddies gone? need to take out these lights actually beforehand. I mean when you're playing this just make sure that you do the same. You definitely don't want a situation where you leave all your... Um, you forget to take out the lights and end up getting knocked back into them. That can definitely cause you big problems. I wanted to try and throw that guy in the air um, and shoot him before he landed. Where's he gone? 
Why has this guy got better powers than me? Come on, minion. That's right. You better run. Punish him. Was that Aunt Sylvie? Uh, I don't actually remember if that was her name. Sally, Aunt Sally, that was it. This is what happens when you keep calling people Aunt May the whole way through the game. Oh, that's don't think that's enough to upgrade anything. No. It wasn't me. You have to keep changing ammo as well. The thing is, it's like uh, there's a lot of multitasking in this game because you've actually got to be prepared to switch between all your weapons all the time. The thing is, obviously, using the arms is very overpowered, but you, they actually get turned off so quickly. But I guess this is the problem. It's like the whole kind of thing with Superman and Kryptonite. Yes, I'm aware a lot of people would argue nowadays he doesn't seem to be as uh, weak to it as he used to be. If he's even weak to it at all. But as far as most people go, um, that's what you just use and then you can treat Superman like a normal person. I'm thinking he's actually we've seen first hand in this game, it doesn't make a difference if they shoot me or not, because if they actually the guy shot me in the face and that actually did nothing to me. Because I'm just freaking invincible. Let's see there, exactly what I was talking about. If you go around. I don't know if you've played any of the other superhero games, but um, what kind of superhero games do you guys like? I mean, I remember a good one that I've... The, my probably favourite one this gen was probably Prototype. Um, the first one, I wasn't a big fan of the second one, I thought Hella was boring. I mean, I know a lot of people said that Mercer wasn't was also dull, but he at least didn't give a crap about people and wasn't supposed to give a crap about people whereas kind of tried to paint her in a much more um, positive light but how could you sympathise with someone like him I mean the way he was acting the whole way through I mean I remember he actively antagonises people who are even willing to help him I mean, that's why I can. I absolutely could not stand him at all. Um, where's we're going down this way? There's also Infamous 2, That was another really good one. I didn't really play the Spider-Man ones this much this gen. There were some decent ones though. Like um, I remember Shat Dimensions. That was a lot of fun. I remember trying out Web of Shadows, which a lot of people seem to love. I personally wasn't a very big fan of that. I mean, there's some nice ideas, but from what I remember, the combat was just dreadful in that one. Uh, you kind of just end up web kicking everyone. But yeah, Infamous 2 was amazing. I really liked the ending of Infamous 1. Um, the controls, it was hard to get around the town with... Um, in the first game which is why I wasn't that big a fan. I can't wait to play him from a second son. Um, my nephew's got that 
and uh, I haven't played it, but I do really want to play that at some point. Looks like an absolutely amazing game. Probably the only game on PS4 that I even have any interest in at the moment. Outside of Bloodborne, which isn't actually out yet. Now these guys are a bit troublesome. Um, yes, yeah, sorry for what I was saying. Uh, yeah, uh, the infamous games, those are pretty fun. I mean, it's funny, I just remember probably my favourite superhero game, full stop, was um, actually probably Hulk Arm at Destruction. I mean, Prototype was really a spiritual successor to that game because it was made by the same company. But being able to turn cars into boxing gloves is always going to be one of the coolest powers I remember seeing in a in a game. Um, I would have liked to play the Incredible Hulk game as on PS3 as well, but I just hadn't. And it's pretty rare and unfortunately I'm not going to bother chasing down and paying extortionate amounts for games that probably aren't as good as Ultimate Destruction. I mean, if it was made by the same devs, I would have probably been a lot more interested in it, but I heard it wasn't. And also, comic book games themselves aren't as good if they're based off the movies as opposed to just the comics. I mean, the Ultimate Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, those were very fun. Uh, if you haven't played any of those, they're well worth a look if you haven't played them. Probably extortionately priced now if you want to try and grab one of them. Um, but yeah, those are pretty good. Uh, the second one's not as good as the first, but it does have combining powers things, and that's pretty cool. There's a nice feature that they added in. Oh. Is when we were talking, um, the first game they just had more diverse characters. You could mix everyone up. There's a lot more RPG-like. Uh, it had more in common with Diablo 3. Probably not the best example, but. Um, I can't really think of what else I'd compare it to. He was... he kind of gave up a bit easily that time, didn't he? Probably should be paying a bit more attention to um, my powers, but I can't bother to. Okay, wait, what'd that actually do? It says use triangle to shoot bullets, that's interesting. Nope, not quite sure how whatever I just did there works. I'll just use this submachine gun in the meantime. Don't want to waste my good ammo. Oh, my arms are gonna all make it. I didn't actually realise that. I hate teleporting bosses. Teleporters are excessively broken, I always think. It's a very, very underrated superpower. I mean, barring characters who um, can uh, have, you know, insane durability, Nightcrawler get, can easily get the drop on most of them. What is this guy doing? Oh. 
not particularly enjoying this boss. I always find that bosses you quite not you're not quite sure what you're doing are always just a bit crap. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, yeah, like I was saying, with, um, to the, yeah, there's been some decent, I don't know what that is, oh, that's an ammo box, there's, uh, you know, been some decent games, um, out of this gem, but not that many amazing superhero ones, um, I mean, nothing really compared to how I felt when I first played Spider-Man 2, which was, felt pretty much groundbreaking at the time to have an open world superhero game. Oh, actually, I did quite enjoy Lego Marvel and uh, Lego Batman 2. Uh, they both had open worlds and you could actually fly around them. And Weirdly, I don't think that there's been many, if any, superhero games where you could actually fly around, which were any good. I think you could in the Iron Man games, but they wouldn't be terrible. I didn't actually play them. Um, but yeah, so there's actually not many games where you can... Um, Fly, which is why it's quite liberating to play the um, uh, to play the where's he gone to play the um, Lego Marvel and Lego Batman games. Also, the fact that they actually use the like Superman theme from like the old Christ the old uh, movies was pretty damn cool. Every time you flew in that. He's so dead. For the darkness is the cuddle. You're a flesh covered suitcase. A no, temporary. No, this <laughs> Finish. Go ahead. Kill me. You know you want to. This is my reward. I welcome this suffering in the name of the yes, Brotherhood. So <laughs> Where's your boss hiding? What makes you think he's hiding? Huh? Hiding from weakness like you? <laughs> He's at Hellgate. You oh, remember God, Hellgate, so don't you, Jackie? So many fun memories there, huh? <laughs> Come pay us a visit. <laughs> We're waiting for you. Hellgate, huh? Thanks for the help, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Oh, he killed him in as much of a gruesome way as he possibly could. Yes. Yeah, dude. I guess he did that to make it as poss painful as possible because of what he did to his aunt, but still, that was pretty freaking nasty. First time you kill a man. You come to a crossroads. You learn something about yourself. You don't learn what you're capable of or how bad a person you are or any of that bullshit. You learn you can sleep at night after, or you learn you can't. You're either haunted, or you're not. I was 16 years old the first time I killed a man. And I slept like a baby every night since. Well, that's nice and disturbing, Jackie. Everything okay, boss? You know what? That hair does look like a wig. Maybe the mental asylum's onto something. It's weird. I always find those kind of things pointless, but it is kind of cool that you can do it. And it also doesn't stop me from just running around and always pressing every single button that I possibly can. Oh, I had it with these guys, Jackie. We gotta put an end to this. That's the plan, Vin. Let me know what you need me to do. Sit tight. I'm gonna check in with Johnny. Anything you say, boss. And when you're ready to put these fucks down, you say the word. All right, buddy. It's a bit sad that Jackie doesn't have the same compassion to his men that his men have for him. 
I mean, those guys actually are willing to put their life on the line for him, but he doesn't seem to really give a crap that he's got all of them involved. I think that's actually kind of interesting when you take a look at it. Jackie, I heard what happened. Jesus Christ. I think I'm losing my fucking mind. I keep... I keep seeing that loony bin. And it's getting worse. I mean... It's like I'm losing time or something. Jackie, listen to me. This is what the darkness does. It confuses you. So I, I, I'm thinking maybe it would be a nice time to go visit Hawaii or Fiji. Someplace nice, warm, and way the fuck away from these guys. No. They're holed up at the old boardwalk in Astoria. A place called Hellgate Field. Me and Jenny used to go there when we were kids. That's where I'm headed. Jackie, you gotta think carefully. Hmm? This could be a trick. The, the whole thing mm, it smells like a trap. That's because it is a trap, dummy, but I don't have a choice. I can't let it keep hurting Jenny. Don't let them take the darkness, Jackie. You do that. We are all fucked. What about the siphon? You can't let the darkness have it. You do that. We are all, once again, fucked. Not even the Angelus could stop the darkness then. Great. So I'm fucked either way. Listen, Johnny. Thanks for everything. Anytime, Jackie. Just, you know, never, ever, ever. <laughs> okay? Actually, yeah, I want to know that. You said not even the Angelus could stop it. What does that mean? What's the Angelus? The Angelus? You mean you don't know? Jackie, the Angelus is the complete and total opposite of the darkness. It's a creature of pure light. The Angelus and the darkness have been fighting since... Since... Well, I don't know, but a real long time, man. Nobody's seen it for a while. And you, of all people, should thank your lucky stars for that. You said this Angelus thing made the siphon? That's the rumor. Creature of pure light, weapon of pure light. Kinda makes sense, huh? So the siphon... Could it kill me? Sure. If they killed it with the siphon, no way the darkness is gonna be able to repair that damage. You go straight to hell. No pass and go, no collecting your 200 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Tell me more about this Angelus thing. You mean besides the fact that it wants to kill you? A little more than that would be helpful. All right, here goes. Everything the darkness is, the Angelus isn't. The darkness is, well, dark. The Angelus is light. Darkness wants chaos. Angelus wants order. Darkness needs a male host. Angelus needs a female. Uh, that crap. explains why they've been fighting for, well, forever, I guess. Female? Yeah, it's not gonna be boobs, pocketbook, shoes, female. Jenny, is it? You, a picture? you say one day this broad's gonna show up wanting to kill me? Yep, mm hmm, yep, yeah, mm hmm, yep, yeah, yep. Makes you feel any better. You're not the first guy to be in this situation. And you definitely won't be the last. Terrific. Thanks again, Johnny. No problemo. You gotta understand something. The, 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 the hey, if you die. What? Uh, too soon. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Where are we supposed to be going here? Not good, boss. This is a bad deal, Jackie. A very bad deal. I've been talking to Vinny. Maybe we should lay low for a while. Let things settle down. That's smart thinking. And all of you should do that. But I'm ending this. Tonight. What the hell's that supposed to mean? It means I'm going by the old boardwalk up in Astoria. I have something there I need. What's this all about, boss? Just say the word. Me and the boys are ready to bust some fucking balls. These pricks got their nerve to come in here? No, Vinny. I put you guys at risk because of my thing. I'm not doing that again. Okay, Jackie's a bro. I like you now. All right? Jackie, come on. I can't... That's an order. Hear me? You got some balls, kid. Fellas, if I don't come back... None of that, Jackie. I'll see you when you get back. Got it? That's good, because I want to see some actual bit of Jackie actually sympathizing with his men, because I didn't think it was right the way he was acting before.
or at least how it seemed like he thought about it. Well, I guess he's more worried about his aunt, which is why we didn't really hear much sympathy on his part. Jenny and I were broke, but she always found a way to have a good time. One time for my birthday, she snuck us into a roller rink. Some kid was having a party and it was so big, they didn't notice a little girl helping herself to some cake and some presents. All for me. Best birthday I ever had. She <laughs> snuck us into movie theaters, caught our way into bars, whatever. And whenever we got busted, she was just as good at getting us out as she was getting us in. She could con her way out of anything. But I should have known. Luck like that can't last forever. I'm liking these monologues between stages. Okay, we're going to end that part of the playthrough there. Um, I hope you've been enjoying this. Um, do tell me if you'd rather my commentary be any specific way or how I can improve it because um, I do want to make these playthroughs better and I've noticed that I haven't really been talking much in the last two videos so um, if you want me to talk about anything in particular do let me know. Okay, anyway thanks for watching and bye bye